believe there's like 8,000 fish in here. Oh my God, that was quick. Oh my God. Look at that guy. The good one, dude. Let's go, Jack. You like that? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, oh, baby, let's go. go. Let's go. Oh. oh yeah. Get your butt over here. Oh, oh you did me like that. Oh. Hey, Jack and I are taking a 400 mile road trip to catch the rarest fish in the whole United States. We are doing it challenge style. Me versus Jack. There is three ponds at this spot, each with different sized fish from smallest to biggest. Person who catches the biggest fish at each pond wins that pond and gets one point. Who will have the most points at the end of this video? You let us know down in the comments. Let's jump into it. 400 mile road trip. Here we come. Welcome aboard the fish guy, the SS fish guy. What do they call it? We are getting on the turnpike. We are taking a, this is our first, pretty much first travel video for Robert's Buzzin'. I'm getting north. We are officially doing our first fish guy travel video, guys. It's not a very long one, but we're going three hours north and we are gonna catch literally the most insane fish ever. You can only catch these fish in Australia. That's where they're native. This is the only place to catch them in the Western hem Hemisphere, I read. So literally this is the only lake that has these fish in pretty much the US. Let's go. If you really wanna catch them, you go to Australia or you take a trip down here to this very special spot here in Florida that's like a little bit south of Orlando. And we're taking our road trip, baby, the SS Fish Guy. Get ready to see some big fish. These fish get up to 100 pounds, bro. Are you sure about that? That's what the website said. Come Jack, on. pull up the website and read what it says. Because 100 pounds? Put it like this, that would be bigger than the Wahoo we caught. By like 50 pounds. Yeah, you're right. Native to Australia, these exotic super fish possess all the qualities of our native sport fish, weighing up to 100 pounds. Woo! They strike like a largemouth bass, fight with the power of a snook, soar through the air like a tarpon, and the good news is you don't have to travel across the globe. So they're from Australia, but we're driving over only to catch these fish in a couple hours, baby. Let's go. We've had nothing to eat. We have a three hour drive. We woke up early. We didn't use the restroom. It's, you know what all this is doing? Keeping us on our toes and we're not scared, okay? It's like hitting a 500 yard drive. Guess what, we're doing it today. Are we worried? We're gonna be late. We left at peak work time, rush hour. We have it on here. So I was on the bridge till 1 a.m. We might have to pull over. Dude, I gotta use the bathroom. You can't Plus. do it for another one hour and 40, 54 minutes. <laughs> that looks All right, it. update number one on the road. Jack, you comfy back there? Dude, I am so good. <laughs> I didn't even bring a pillow, this is yours. Thanks, I can't wait to sleep with your Can't wait to put follicles. my sweaty sardine head on this thing no, after I fish. No, you're not, because guess what, you're driving home. You're driving to Jacksonville. We're going to Jacksonville after this, guys, by the way. And we're gonna fish that lake, you yes. already know. So we're hitting this spot in Orlando. We're actually getting off, I'll tell you where we're getting off. Our exit in 91 miles is called Yeehaw Junction. Yee so that, just, that just tells you right there where we're headed. We're headed to Yeehaw Junction, baby. I'm gonna throw me a nice Copenhagen dip <laughs> and crack yes, me a bush man. light. After this, we hit Orlando. We're fishing for Bear Mondays, hopefully gonna catch that 100 pounder. Then we're going to Jacksonville, three hour drive to Jacksonville, fishing the lakes on the golf course. And then me and Jack might even uh, hit the links on Saturday. I think we just passed the traffic. All right, let's go, baby. Put the Gotta pin focus down. on the road. Get there safely. Yeehaw Junction, we're coming for you. Yee! <laughs> 30 minute mark. Look at Jack right there. <laughs> Zoom into that. I mean, that's just gorgeous. I hope he's drooling on the pillow, getting his face skin on there so that I can share with him later. Should be really fun. Oh, by the way, I just saw a man on the side of the highway with a full grown deer dead on the side of the road taking selfies with it. So, welcome to Yeehaw Junction. That was a good hot hey, hour listen, listen, of you're... straight canned <laughs> neck. Canned sardine back That was there, a dude. sardine. <laughs> dude. Literally my neck is... I don't want to hear you complaining, my ass is numb. I'll tell you what, I can drive this booger. I think I got a nice present for when we arrive at this place. <laughs> Jack, you can't. You have to yeah. hold it, bro. There's no way. You want to talk not... about a 100-pounder? It's going to be right there. Technically, there's four people in this car. 
Well, you, instead of just three. We're probably gonna have to pay for another angler. Cause uh, there's two of me. <laughs> No trespass. No. No man. trespassing. Are you sure this is the right <laughs> no trespassing. Are we sure we're making the right one? Because it looks like they might blow us to pieces <laughs> if we go down here. You are in rifle range. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nothing the black book. Chris, are you have. sure? Chris, are you sure? This Bro, is I'm following the GPS. All right. I'm gonna talk about spiking the anxiety. Dude, relax. Just a little bit. The sign is just for you know violating. How long are we on this road for? 0. 0.8 miles. 0. 0.9. Get it right. Fish the pit. There it is. Let's Barrel go, baby. Fish the pit, baby. Yee-way! Yee Yeehaw Road. What is it? Yeehaw Junction. Why would they have that sign? Just so people don't trust Sneak us. Sneak in here and fish. Look, this guy lives on his pro on the whole property. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah. Giving, um, oh, look at this creek. What do we got in there? Any fish? Dude. Could set a fish trap, come back, pull it when it's uh when we're done. Probably pull a bear Monday. Pull me some snakehead in here. Fish the pit. Let's go, baby. Take it easy. Guys, I don't want to. You're good. Oh my God, that dog's fucking. Oh, this one's got three fucking legs. Chris, where's the other one? I don't know. It says make a left here. Dude, that dog only had three legs. They're chasing my car. Do you see the husky? Yeah, it's right behind, the, it's right behind us. We're good. Just don't hurt him. I don't want to, dude. These dogs are so cute. Look at the big boy husky. I cannot believe I saw that. Go, it's so whoa, sad. it's like forest. Why are they following the car? Look at this life these dogs live. They just run around. That's so awesome. It's kind of dangerous. All right, better get my hat on so I don't scare away the fish with my hair. Is this the pit? This oh my the god, there's pit. the pit. We just pulled up on the pit. All right. No one's here. Lock it. That's our boy. That's our boy. Roll your running down and say, excuse me, pit master. Excuse me? What's up, man? Okay, thank you. <laughs> that was the goddamn pit master, babe. That's the pit master. Is this the Dude, pit? Dude, this is going to be this so This is where are made of guys this is what every fisherman dreams of this fishing stock sick. ponds oh my god it's gonna be so fun dude <sighs> sunscreen oh man i need to do a wardrobe change though i'm gonna get my fish guy shirt on and i'm wearing sweat shorts mike right yes sir yeah and what was y'all's name i'm chris Can to meet you mike jack jack our I'm man bad, mike I'm right bad, here i'm bad with names so. that's oh, all right good. no worries no worries you got an easy hey, one man. hey man <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we're here there's, uh, what'd you say, three ponds that we're gonna fish? Yeah, there's three ponds with Bear Monday in. Okay. Three different ponds, one with uh, a 25 pounder, he says, is lurking that's, around. That's mine. So. There's and big ones over there. That <laughs> pond behind as long us. As you leave. What's that? There's as long as you leg. Yeah. yeah, so hopefully we can put on a clinic with the Bear Monday and then maybe we can go catch a big bass. Oh, he's oh got that's a nice. Oh. Does, that, does that like feel good on their head? Like it actually well, works? Yeah, if you're bald. <laughs> yeah, you don't think that. It's but sick. It, it, when it, the hotter, the brighter the sun gets, the faster it blows. Yeah. You gotta pull it, hold it back and oh, that's it dope. Now, that's fan, dope. You can get them on Amazon. They're like 40 bucks. That's on, just blowing in your shirt? On high, it'll run like Oh my God, you got all high. the Pro tips. So that's you, a pro you tip. Put on your belt and then hook the shirt into it, and then that's epic. You get that sweat layer going. Yeah. Fans is the Damn. <laughs> Let's rock and you roll. Let's go catch a bear of money. Check that one off the bucket list. So there's a couple ponds. We're going to the, the one with the most bites right now. Smaller fish, but most bites. Getting the feel for the uh, barramundi. So how'd you guys even get the barramundi like here? Uh, we brought them in from Australia. Damn. We found them like an inch long and then raised them up. Well, they literally look exactly like a snook uh, from, from the top. The skull ain't though. Barramundi skull actually looks more like a redfish. Really? Now, they're really close though. They're Basically, like they're all males until they get so big and they turn to females, just like a snook. Just like a snook, um, yeah. They live in fresh salt water and brackish water, um, but they're gonna reproduce in ocean flown salt water, just like a snook. Right. The only right. difference is a snook can tolerate a little bit colder water than these fish. These fish are more like a peacock bass. So and what do you got to do when? Uh, uh, when it gets below 60 degree water temperature, we got an 1800 foot deep aquifer well that we run and flow the water in, and it stays around 78, 76 degrees. Wow. So that's how, and that's how we keep. So the you got to cover. Alive up here. Yeah. yeah. All the stuff moving outside the edge of the grass line. Yeah, yeah. That's all fish. Barramundi? <laughs> yes. That's all oh them? Oh my god. That's thing that's in there. There's about 8,000 in this pond. <laughs> Holy cow. From a half pound to about eight and a half, nine pounds. So what do you, what do you feed them? You throw them like pellets? Uh, protein pellets. 
high protein. Everything pill. that's in that pond, minnows, snakes, frogs, rats, anything that gets around it. All right, here we go. About to catch probably the first fish on my very first cast. I've never been so confident in a fishing spot in my life before. <laughs> uh, we got the Lunker Hunt Crawl right there, found in box two. Let's get to it, here we go. Oh, we just had one there. I was gonna say, they'll eat it. Oh! Oh, I guess they will eat it off the bottom. Can't believe there's like 8,000 fish in here. That's insane. Oh. There he is. <laughs> there we go, That's baby. so easy, bro. First ever bear money. I've literally never even seen one of these in person. Look at Sick. how insane that fish is right there. Look at that right there. <laughs> My first ever Barramundi. Check that thing off the list. I didn't have to fly. I don't know how far it is to Australia, but. About 30 hours. <laughs> All right, didn't have to fly 30 hours. Only had to drive about two and a half. So there we go. My very first one. So this is a baby, huh? It's a, yeah, that's a smaller version. Yeah. All right, all right. Fun, fun. Oh, heck yeah. Blew that thing right up on top. That is freaking sick. Let's uh, get this back in the water and uh, let's catch a bigger one. See you later, buddy. Ooh. So sick. That was epic. That's so sick. Let's dude. go. Now, Jack can catch the one pounders all day, but I want the uh, 25 pounder. Let's see. So I'm just working this thing slow, baby. And so it's just uh, at ease fishing in a stocked pond, you know? Oh my God. Oh my God, Brooke. Chris, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. <laughs> We're just getting him started. The oh good thing God. is, guys, is that he says as we catch more, they're kind of like jacks or they're kind of like dolphin offshore. Once you catch one and they get feeding, they all start to really fire up and we're gonna get them good. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my That's God, so dude, this is epic. This is insane. They, they really have a serious gold color to it, huh? Some of them do. Some that one's a little guys. bigger. Silver. Yeah, he's a little bigger for sure. Right there is that gill plate. So that's wicked. Like, like a snook, right? I can shave your face with it. That's that you sharp. You go this way all you want. You come back this way, it's razor blade sharp. Really? Wow. Yeah, touch it. Just just take it, like you can go that way and then come back real slow back the other way. Real slow. Oh, yeah. Like, it's That'll get blade. you. Oh, no. I had a boy oh, split yeah. his palm all the way from one side to the other, about an inch and a half deep. What a fish. Oh my God. What a fish. I can't hold on to her. You know where we're going here? Bruiser Bait, Super Swimmer Junior, favorite bait in the box, baby. Oh my God, that was quick. <laughs> Got him on, baby. That was so fast, it literally hit the wall. Literally just touched the water, dude. Oh my God. I love fighting on this little tiny thing. This is a bigger one, I think. Is it? I can't even imagine a, a 25 pounder on this. Oh, I think I got the size advantage so far, Jack. I think that's the winner. That's the winner so far. Size advantage. This is a good one, Jack. Look at that one. That's a big one. That's a good one. Jack, I got a good one, dude. Yeah. Decent. I think I'm winning the uh, size, size challenge so far. Look at that guy. It's a good one, dude. I don't know what, how much he weighs, but. Uh, four, four, and a half. four, four and a half pounder. Let's go, Jack. You like that? Let's go. Like so sick. Dude, that is so Bang. Cool. Let me take Bang. A, Let me it's take a picture. All right, brother. Time to send you home. I'd say, uh, say you're in the lead. I'd say I'm in the lead, guys. Not yeah, when this Super not Swimmer surprised. Junior comes out. Not Ready surprised. for this? Oh, there we go. Oh, we got some aerial <laughs> action, baby. Let's go. Let's go. What are you using? Dude, I'm using uh, like a fluke. Yeah, actually, that's what I should have talked about. Dude, them. so they jump like tarpon, fight like hell, and they are dope. Smaller than my last one, but, smaller than my last one, Jack, but still, perfect hook, dude. I'm having a trouble, I'm having trouble. So this is a much smaller guy, as you can see, but feistier than the other one. Look at that little guy. So. This is, this is the kitty pond, like you said. So we're starting with the kitty pond, getting the feel for these guys. They fight really hard, they're really nice. There's Jack. Oh. <laughs> but, where's that 20 pounder? Where's that 25 pounder, dude? Dude, if we catch the 25 pounder Sorry, today, we are going straight to the bar. Oh, we're going straight to the bar. Straight to the bar. Percent. There you go, Jack. <laughs> All you gotta do is cast me. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Ugh. Not Ooh. a bad one. Definitely doesn't beat Chris's though. Decent, but not beating mine. Definitely doesn't beat Chris's. No way. This is some seriously remote fishing. 
No, we're the only like ones I out here. Saying, only ones out here, stocked ponds. It doesn't get much better than this. I highly recommend taking a trip out here. Because <sighs> it's 10 out of 10 would recommend coming doing this. This is freaking absolutely as fun as it gets. Fishing in a barrel, all right? Fishing literally in a barrel. Look at that right there. The Bear Mundy. Let's go. That's a bigger one. Oh, that's a bigger one. Yeah, that's, a, that's probably a five pounder. Let's go. All right. Five Let's pounder. go. Five pounder Jack's in the lead. Let's go. So I think we do like a... Yeah, I got a bit going. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. It's no, definitely right. heavier. It's a good color one. Silver. Silver and a bit of gray. Let's go, baby. Literally like a snook and a tarpon yeah. combined into one like fish. Like, mean, They're blowing up like crazy. I can't wait to hit that big pond. I'm going to catch a 25 pounder today. What a gorgeous fish. This is a lot of fun. We are eventually gonna go hit a, a lake for seven to 10 pound bass, all right? That's a stud, baby. That's a stud. So I think we're gonna do, there's three ponds here. This is pond number one. We have pond number two to my left and then pond number three over there with the large mouth. I think we're gonna do each pond is a different game. So who wins pond one, who wins pond two, who wins pond three? We shall find out. Jack's in the lead right now with about a five pounder. That's gonna be hard to beat for this pond. I, I had think a, yours was bigger. You think mine was bigger? Yeah. How can we tell? I think, I, how, about, how about this, we're dead even. We're dead even, because okay. I think mine was a slightly bit bigger. I think yours was a little bigger. Yep, Manager Brooks says he, she thinks mine was a bit bigger, but so pond one's all square. We're all square for pond one. Now's when the game starts. Let's see who can catch the bigger fish, then we're gonna move to pond two, then pond three, and hopefully we can get a large mouth in here every once in a while. Now watch, I just pop this bait, pop this bait, and they just go crazy for it. Now, even though it, it came out there, I'm gonna let it sit right here. And if there's one around, okay, not there, not there. But they're everywhere, guys, it's insane. So this is the, uh, pond number one is the kitty pond, he called it. This one has the smallest amount of fish, but the most fish. So pond two, you gotta work a little bit harder, and pond three, you gotta work a little bit harder to catch them, but the, as you go from pond one to pond three, the bigger the fish get. So that's the way we're gonna conform our challenge today, is each pond is its own separate challenge. So far, we're all square. We're gonna call it all square, even though I think mine was a little bit bigger. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, now, now they're done. Now, oh. Yeah, you got them figured out. Yeah, now they're screwed. <laughs> You're gonna be the uh, the judge. So how big do you think that one is? Uh, he's probably four. Four? Okay, yeah. four. Jack, I gotta beat four. No, I caught a five, bro. <laughs> no, I know, but Brooke says mine was bigger. <laughs> we're Come restarting. On. Oh, we're starting. We're starting done it over over. Yeah. Wow. Now you're in the lead. I can't believe this, dude. This is so much fun. Woo! Oh. That's the second time you almost slipped, Jack. Yeah, he was way close. Look at that. Oh. No way, Jack. It's definitely the pause, man. Oh no, longer the pause. Dude, that's the biggest one. He's probably five and a half, maybe. That's the biggest one. Yeah. Dang, Jack. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Chasing that belt. Chasing hey, this is only pond number one, belt. brother. Chasing that, dude. Yeah, he's good. It's a nice fish, healthy. Take it easy, buddy. I don't need a gill plate in me. Over fiver, you think? Ask the referee. <laughs> That's a good Come one, Jack. On, buddy. Yeah, I'm thinking that piece is probably five and a half pounds. Dang. All right, Jack's in the lead. Over five. Ah, That's Let's sick, go. Bro. That's sick. Biggest one I caught today, baby. They're getting bigger. That's a good one, Jack. No. Right oh, Minnow. Minnow, dude. <laughs> Minnow sends, yep. All right, Jack's officially in the lead. Jack's officially in the lead. It's All right. It's crazy, because you catch a fish like this, Back where we're at, and we're, you know, we are fired up about it. There's not too many big ones where we're at, but it's a tiny guy. That's all right. Listen, it's only pond number one, and it's not over yet. It ain't over till the fat lady sings, okay? I agree, Chris. Let's let this guy, he's got spunk. I respect him. He'll be a 10 pounder soon. Let's get him back in. He's not going to win me the, he's not going to win me the belt, Jack. He ain't going to win me the belt. Chris, the name, literally the name of the game is literally, see my thing on the top of the weeds? Yeah. Just like barely pulling your rod and letting it just move like that and they're just gonna pop the shiitake off it. Just like that. Oh my God. Is that a good one? I'm trying to run. No, I'm trying to run there. Shoot, I don't have my GoPro running. Dude, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm catching some good ones. Yeah, just wait, just wait till I get the 25 pounder, bro. 
Dude. Holy cow, that's a good one. They're bigger! Nah, that other one was bigger. I don't He's, know, ask the referee. He's more round. Yeah, Dude, I'm round. sorry, but barbless hooks are the way to go. Hey, it's hard work being that good. <laughs> Hell yeah, it sure is. <laughs> I'm gonna be sore tomorrow morning, and I gotta play golf. He's fatter now. He might be pushing six. Oh, no pushing way. Pushing six. You heard it. That's the weight. Damn. Pushing six. Not 6.1. 5.9. Pushing six. Six is officially the uh, the threshold, huh? Yeah, he's on. Ah. Hey. Let's go, oh, baby. baby. Hey, there you go. I don't have much to say about this one other than he's pushing ah. six. I mean, look at that. Such an amazing yeah. fish, dude. Oh, okay. Here. All right. Thanks for playing, buddy. Sorry about that, sir. They are really such a freaking cool fish, you guys. The way they're built is like nothing I've ever caught before. I am definitely 100% coming back here. I would like to take Tori here. I wanna come with Brooke and Chris and Tori and we're gonna come here again and we're gonna fish and we're gonna buy four anglers and we're gonna come out here and just kill them. So it'll be the couple's challenge. Couple's challenge. Jack and Tori versus me and Brooke. I need a bait. Right now it's just the boys and guess what? I'm losing, but you know, you know what always happens. You guys always know what end up end up happening. Okay. I always end up coming back. They don't call me comeback Chris for nothing. Nice! Be over six. Be over six. Be over six. No, he's a smallie. Be over six. No, not over six. Dude, it looks so much like a snook. I not over six. I can't. Ooh, that one's got a bit of gold on him. Yeah, he's got some gold. He's shiny. Look he's how, pretty. Look how pretty that fish is, bro. Absolutely gorgeous fish, but once again, not the six. It's insane. It literally looks just like a snook, guys. Yeah. I wish color. we could have these. Can we have these in the, in the aquarium? Or no? mm -mm. We're not allowed. Mm -mm. So badass. My man Steve over at Bruiser Baits. We're fishing the big jerk right now, baby. Let me show you. This is, will be probably the first bear money ever caught on your bait. So here you go, Steve. This one's for you. Big jerk in it, Brooke. Yeah, they really do like the paws. There we go. Pop that thing out of there. That one's for you, Steve. Big jerk. First bear Monday. God damn, they're strong. There it is. Not the biggest one of the day, but definitely a good one, baby. Let's get them back. Dude, there's a good one over here. All right, pond number one. I would say Jack took the, uh, took the win, but guess what? The battle does not mean war, brother. It's true. So, Jack may have won the battle, but I will win the war. Pond number two, here we come. Okay, pond number two we are at. The first pond was like one to six pound fish, roughly. Now he says the majority of these guys are eight to 12 pounds. So now we're getting into the bigger fish. Pond number three is gonna have even bigger fish than this. So we're in the medium area pond, eight to 12 pound fish. Jack, who can, catch, luck. Who can catch the bigger fish? Hey, I hate to break it to you, but if I win this pond, you're done, buddy. No, no not true. The bass. Okay. The bass is the real thing. All right. You need to win this pond. I do. I, I just got to tell you that. You need to but win this pond. guess what? I ain't worried. You need to win this pond. Jackie G thinks he's like, just wait. Okay, I'm coming. Watch this first cast stud. Watch this 12 pounder. He didn't even tell me where to cast. Nah. I'm just going to cast. I'm just going to catch one. First fish is bonus points, by the way. Nah, I don't think so, bro. I think it's just biggest. You're cheating over there. No, I'm not. Right here in front of me. He just blew up on it. Damn, dude, I just missed a big fish. Come on, guys, I just missed a big fish on this pond number two. We know pond number two is electric, eight to 12 pounders in here, but I just missed a big blow up on one. Pretty bad. That's a bummer. Check out this little uh, platform here. Little dock. I'm trying it out. I'm trying it out to see if I can see anything in the water here because I did get blown up like right around here. But it's really hot today, so the fish might be a little deeper. And that's what we're gonna try, a little bit deeper. Guy's right in front of me. Right in front of me, dude. There's like four of them. There's like four of them right here in front of me. Jack, there's like five right here. Right under, underneath the dock. There's literally, there was literally like five or six. I went to the, I was over there before. Now I came on the other side. There was like five or six big ones over here. But I think I scared them because I'm an idiot. Guys, me and Jack have actually been putting in some serious work in pond number two. 
It's been probably at least 30 minutes. Not a bite. I've gotten eight twice, but didn't land any. That goes to show the kitty pond, which is right there, is the one where literally there's just, there's 8,000 fish in here. In this one, it's hard to believe there's 3,500 fish in this pond. And we haven't gotten one yet, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna get one. So it's pretty much whoever gets the first fish is gonna win this pond. That's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be the winner of this pond. So pond number two has been, been a struggle, but I'm confident I can win this challenge against Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, a little update on pond two. I think we've been fishing it about for 20, 25 minutes now. Not one fish has been caught. So this is a big pond, make or break. If I can get a W here, if I can catch a fish, whoever catches a fish first, I think is gonna secure the win on this pond because these fish don't seem to be too much in the feeding mode today. That's a good cast right there. These are big fish, much smarter. You see them? All right, I gotta get on this dock then. I gotta get on this dock. Oh, oh, no, he chased it. I see like five of them right here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Pond two, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Pond two. Jack, I got him, baby. I think I'm gonna win this pond. I think I'm gonna win this pond too. I told you, come back, Chris. Come back, Chris. I hope this is a good one. Cause he said there is some four fivers in here, but usually they're eight, eight to 12 pounds. Not huge. That's, that's probably, that's probably a five, five pounder. Five pounder, hey. Pond two's in the lead. I am in the lead for pond two, baby. Don't cut me up, don't cut me up. You gotta really wrestle these guys when you're holding them, because uh, they got serious spunk and power. There he is, pond two, five pounder probably, yeah. Do some lateral raises with this. That's a five pounder for pond two, let's go. Fish guy Chris is in the lead for pond number two. Jack may have won the battle, but the war's not over. Gotta keep fighting. See ya, buddy. All right, guys, pond number two was a shorter pond. It was a doozy. Me and Jack were out there for probably an hour fishing, and uh, I ended up finding the fish at the very end and ended up catching a nice five pounder. It wasn't the eight to 12 that were mostly in there, but those guys, I was seeing them on top of the dock. They were super smart. If you were in the, you know, if they saw you at all, they weren't eating. Now it's one to one fish guy, Chris, versus Jackie G, baby. Jackie G is up uh, on pond number one. I won pond number two with one fish. It was a tough pond to fish, but now the holy grail, one, one. Pond number three to split the difference. This pond right here, this has some Megalodon sharks in it. There's 25 pound fish in this lake. So who's gonna catch the most or biggest fish in, out of this lake? Hopefully it's as easy as pond one, because pond two, whew, that threw us through it, man. We were trying our butts off. I got one at the end, but pond three, let's do it. Okay, pond number three. This is where the uh, big ones are at. And on the drone, I saw about a hundred. There's one right here in front of me here. I saw about a hundred fish right in this cove area. So I know he said that these guys are smart because they're bigger, which they are very smart. This guy's just swimming right by my bait. Nope, not interested. Okay, so it's gonna we're gonna have to work just like pond two. It gets harder and harder as you go. So pond one was the pond where you know you just you're slamming them. You're getting them every every cast pretty much. Pond two, a little bit harder, a little bit bigger fish. As you can see, we proved that because we only caught one fish in pond two, but now pond three has the 25 pounders, the big monster ones, but we're gonna have to work for them. Try to get these guys. All right, for challenge number three, it's not the giant we're looking for, but still the lead. I'm fired up with it. I'll take it all day. Oh, Jack got him. Right when I say I may uh, take the lead here. There we go, not a big one, but it's good to catch another. He's short and fat. Freaking chode looking dude. Look at that, barely hooked. Not the longest fish. Definitely a tall and fat one though. They are cool freaking fish. I don't think I could ever get sick of catching these things, that is for sure. 
There we go. That's number two. Man, I feel like we were definitely catching some bigger ones this morning, but as the day's getting hotter, they're uh, getting a wee bit smaller. I'm not even gonna try to hold this thing, take the hook out. Beauty, baby. What is that, number two? That's number, number two. This one? Number two of the session for me. Number two, you, buddy. Number three. Gorgeous. I don't think he's too much. Eh? No, he's small. Still chasing that six. I don't even know <laughs> what these fish, oh, he's actually not that bad. These fish, I swear. Snook, tarpon, arapaima, freaking mix. They all three, and again, that would be this guy right here. Hey. Yeah, Brick was just saying the mouth is kind of like a clown knife, how it's uh, very tall and not very wide. Like a large mouth bass is like a bucket mouth. These ones just got a very tall mouth. Really freaking awesome fish. Gonna be sore tomorrow, that's for sure. Tiny, hey. Tiny, but I've caught two, Jack's caught three. Closing the gap. Uh, no. Four. Oh, this might be the smallest one of the day, though. <laughs> all right, all right. We're still going for size. I think we're dead even here. We're square. Me and Jack are square. I've caught two, Jack's caught three. Oh my God, I thought that was a blow up. That ain't a 12. Maybe a 12 incher. Not a 12 pounder. Definitely not the biggest one of the day, but I'll tell you what, they all put up a good fight and I'm having a heck of a good time, I can guarantee you that. Look at them, listen to them. Every, every freaking 10 seconds you hear And hopefully it's on your bait. I gotta win, I gotta win hole three. This is the what, what, is whole, what is this um, pond? This is back nine. This is pond number three, brother. No, I know, but is it size or quantity? This is size. We're running size the whole time. Oh, oh this might be a better one. Jack. Don't lose them. Jack. This might be the better one, bro. Oh yeah, this might be the better one. Oh! No. No, he's not that big. No, mine came off. I think I still have, I think I have the size, but okay. No, that's not, that's the not a bad one. one. I think I have the size, Jack. I think I'm winning the size right now. Enjoy Jack. it while you got it. This is a three, I don't know. Referee, what do you think? And be honest. Three, three, three and a half. Three, 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 and, three and a half. half. Okay. You gotta beat three, three and a half, Jack. Yeah, oh, well, true, true, true. This might be my, well, I'm also not using that rod I was using earlier. I'm using a smaller rod, so. I was gonna Jack, say, this, I this might be the biggest one of the day for me. I think that's the bigger one, dude. Let's hope he loses it. Holy crap, dude. Let's hope he loses it. I got a lot of weeds on here. Dude, listen to this, bro. Come on, this is literally the victory fish. You better get over here, buddy. <laughs> Chris is paying my bar tab tonight. No, dude. How many beers are you thinking? I don't know, it depends on the time we get there. Well, let's see how much this thing weighs here. He ain't too, too big, is he? No, nah, he's actually nice. He's decent. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Referee? Come on, Diane, let me get a little closer. <laughs> he's probably, I'm going to say he's six pounds. Six oh, pounds, baby! No. Let's go! No. Let's go! Dude, that's a good one. That is, dude. That thing put up a fight, man. Dude, like, look at that fish. Seriously, look Imagine at that. Head. 25. That head's as big as my hand. I mean, he's thick. He's definitely thick. I want to get a picture with this one, that is for sure. There you have it, the biggest one maybe of the day. Jackie The G, last man. biggest one I think was pushing six. This one was confirmed by the ref, six pounds. So, <laughs> this is a good one. Put up a fight, baby. Good that luck hurts. to Chris. That hurts. Guess what, man? That hurts. Five o'clock's around the corner and I'm thirsty. Jack. You're screwed. I don't know. They all fight so hard, you know, you can't really tell. Even the little ones are, are fighting hard. Ah. And now I'm in comeback mode. Oh my god, it's instant. Dude, they're really fighting now. They're fired up right now. <laughs> Definitely not six. Not even worth it. Guys, big news. I have 23 minutes to make a splash. Jack officially has the pond number three biggest fish. Six pounder, confirmed by the referee without hesitation. And... They don't call me comeback Chris for nothing. I at least put up a fight. I at least put up a fight. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw LeBron James against the, uh, against the Warriors. That block changed everything. So let me do some good work here. Oh, hold on. Chris, dude. There we go. Oh, came off. Holy crap. I think that was a big one. Everybody calm down. I'm back. I'll tell you what, dude. I switched over to my light rod. Ah, that's fun. Good one. Quality fish, listen, there's no time for pictures. I uh, am still looking to upgrade. 
really extend that lead. Listen, listen, Jackie G's cocky right now. No, listen to me. Jackie G's getting cocky. Just wait. You're gonna eat your. You're gonna eat your words. Okay. Looking to upgrade. No, dude. No upgrading for you. What's that? What's that? <laughs> yeah, double. Yeah, yeah. You gotta let him eat it longer, bro. I think that was a big one. I just. Oh. Okay. Okay. What's going on? I think I'm tip wrapped. Oh my god. I think I'm actually tip wrapped. Chris, do you have a stud or no? No. Do I need? Okay. Hold on. Do I need to worry or no? No. He's coming right in. He's a wimp. Yeah, that's a dink. Wow, buddy. Buddy, you know what? I think I fought this whole this fish tip wrapped. <sighs> you're not the one I want. Stop no, being my you're dude. so small. <laughs> Literally fishing in a barrel. It's not even remotely funny. I really wish I brought my fly rod. Time to upgrade. Not a bad one. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jack's photoshopping. Told you I'm looking to upgrade, boy. Let's Jack's go. Jack's photoshopping all of his fish. Don't believe anything you see on camera, guys. guys. We're gonna have to have the referee get off. Out of here. <laughs> the referee, bro. You better stay glued. I don't know. Made two runs. My other one made like four. You don't look that big, does he? No, dude. You're photoshopping your fish, bro. I'm not. I'm not surprised. <laughs> he ain't that big. He's actually decent. That's a good one, bro. That's a good one. That's a that's six too. That's got to be six. Dude, that might be bigger than six, bro. Do you think you upgraded? How confident are you in the upgrade? Oh, that's a big one, bro. Gotta ask the referee. That's bigger. That one ain't as big as that one. All, all right, right, all right. Okay. That's all we needed here. <laughs> all right, five pounds. Let's go. Dad. That's a chunky one. Look at all the ones I'm catching. Such bro. a beautiful fish, man. I love these things. I freaking love these things. Look at all the ones I'm catching, bro. Like, I'm throwing in the same this spot. This one would eat that one. Whoa. You're good. Let me Bro. get a quick dub. Bro. The clock is ticking. What, what's the time? What's the time, Jack? How many minutes we got left? 10 minutes, okay. I'm running. Hey, time is running out. Ow, 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 ow. That's the song. Time is running out. Oh, yeah. God damn it. God damn it. Get your butt over here. Oh, trying to upgrade. God. Now, I don't know if you guys uh, heard in the beginning. You gotta be super careful even holding these guys because they have a gill plate that you can't really see. Jack will show you on his fish. His mind wants to go home. You guys can see right here, this little slit. Yeah, that. That is a razor blade. So right you have to here, be super line. careful. Like, so this is the gill and then this is the plate right here. Let me see if I can look. This right here. See that? That will slice you open like a damn knife. By the way, I'm crushing them on the freaking big jerk from Bruiser Baits. I mean, they, they can't stop eating it. They can't stop eating it. That one wants to release itself. The big jerk from Bruiser Baits was in the box number one, Fish Guy Mystery Box. So and if you guys do want to try it, the Bruiser Baits, if you guys didn't get a mystery box and you guys want to try just the bait, you can use code FISHGUY on their website, Bruiser Baits website, and you can get 15% off by using our code. So go show them some love. It's, it's all Dinky McDinks, dude, for me. Stinky McDinks, dude. Oh my God, that was the biggest one of the day. I just okay. broke off. That was a giant. Okay, I know That's where it. I'm throwing. What the hell just happened? What happened, Jack? Just got cut off. Just got cut off. That's terrible. Jack's worried, look how worried he is. <laughs> look at his face over there. He's worried. That's a stud. Is it? I don't know, I'm just messing with you. Dude, dude. that I, looks like a big fish. I don't know if you should actually be worried. <laughs> Buzzer beater, what they call me, come back Chris. Now, the thing is, I think the ref has, has been paid off by Jack. So, if this is a, a good one. No, dude, it's not. Is it? It's not terrible. <sighs> Come on, man. Come on. I don't know. You don't know until it's up here. First thing I got to do is land them. Don't judge a book by its cover. It's got to be on the land. I think it just feels a little <laughs> bit more heavy because of the... Uh, I don't know, Jack. Ask the ref. Dude, he's fighting like hell, bro. He's still fighting. Oh, my God. Ugh. This is a good one. This is a good one. I think he's fat. Dude, Mine was a flat six. Dude, this is a good fish. Come on, this is a good fish. Yeah, that's six and probably half ounce. Oh, oh you <laughs> did me like that. Six and a half ounce. Oh my God. Come on. 
That's a good one, dude. <laughs> That's a good fish. I, I, he's He's probably six, but I don't know if he's over. Oh, that's a tie! That's a tie! <laughs> Let's go. I need to go back and start comparing photos. I know, right? Let's go. Let's go, baby. I'll take a tie all day. The referee, I, I thought he gave it to me. I know. Six pounds and about an ounce. He walked it back. I respect the decision. I got to call it the way it is. Me and Jack are tied with a six pounder. I told you you'd be worried. Jack's behind the camera. And come back, Chris. Jack, did you get some photos? Let's go. I still got six minutes. Video? I gotta put this camera down. I think I might even have a fish on this. Okay. Gotta go. Really? Not bigger than the other one, but decent. That's a good one. That one was out in the middle, huh? Yep, dude, all the big ones are out in the middle, bro. It's probably a three. Really? All right, five. Jack? Yo. <laughs> five. Where's that seven at? Cell beauty. Oh man, these fish are awesome. Can't beat it. Buzzer beater, that's what I call that. The camera died right as we caught that last fish and me and Jack tied. Did not have that on the bingo card today, am I right, Jack? No, not. I thought I had that in the bag, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Jack caught the six pounder right in the beginning and I told you, come back, Chris, comes back. Okay, that was like my second to last fish and I, oh man, that was a good I fish. Think I, know the, I, know, I think I know the overtime tiebreaker the lake the lake yeah so we're this ain't over this ain't over okay biggest fish out of the lake biggest fish out of the lake so the referee shout out to mike from uh the bear money place the referee i pulled that fish in i th i thought he gave it to me for a second too i know he said six and half an ounce yeah he said six and half an ounce so i thought he gave it to me but then he, he walked it back he he said you know what i'm gonna give him six pounds for that for that fish so me and jack both caught a six pound fish for pond number three we tied, it's one, 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 okay? We tied, we're all even. This video ain't over. Their grandparents' house is on a golf course, and guess what, the first thing me and Jack do when we get to this house is we are going to the fridge, we are getting a Corona, opening it. If there's a lime, don't mind if I do, I'll put it in there. Then we will be walking to the lake with a topwater frog. Best fish wins. What a road trip it's been. Jack's driving too, by the way. Got McDonald's. We all had Big Macs, including Manager Brooks. I don't think that she's, oh, she got a Big Mac too. <laughs> and a Big Flurry, and I got an apple pie. Let's go, oh, look at this water. That looks, looks good. Jack, that looks, that doesn't look half bad. Get me out of the car, let me, let me throw a cast. So lock in, boys, this video ain't over. And I might take you guys golfing, I'm not gonna lie. I, I gotta show you guys some of my uh, swing, my swing technique, so. Tomorrow, this, this video might be two hours long, I don't even care. You're getting movies from now on. Strap up. All right, me and Jack just got to the uh, house after dinner. Jack's all the way down there. No bites so far. No bites so far on the... Uh... We just got home. It's about to be dark. This lake is massive, dude. It's massive. This is our, it's our first night here, so we still got many days to fish. Well, we got one night. One more night to fish. So we're staying here tonight and tomorrow, and hopefully... Listen, we're gonna find some more fish. We're gonna do some golfing and we're gonna scout some areas tomorrow. Tomorrow we're hitting the range or we're hitting the golf course. And that's when you can really look into the water with your glasses and find where the fish are. So that's what we're doing today. And that's what we're doing tomorrow. And then we're gonna go back out and fish some more. But I mean, the bear Monday was just nuts, but now we want some largemouth. Next big fish wins, Jack said it. So let's lock in. You got a single bite? It's confirmed no fish in here. <laughs> Dude, there is fish in here. Nah, I promise you, I fish all the way around there. There's no fish. The first, before we found the fish, we had to scout out at the at the golf course tomorrow. That's a fact. Farmer's market life. Starbs. Farm. Walking around the farmer's market. <laughs> farmer's market life. It's pretty dope. dope. It's pretty dope. I like, I, it here. I like it too. The fish guys are taking over. Manager Brooke. There's Jack. Jack's actually looking for some fish artwork here. Really interesting. I don't know, don't know why he's looking for that. Jack, you looking for fish artwork? Yeah, I'm gonna see. Maybe find myself like a clownfish artwork. Yeah, like a, like a butterfly copper band. As long as it's big and you put it on the wall. Yeah, something large. Perfect. All right, guys, it is 11:01 a.m. and look at this DJ over here. He has an entire tray of beer. <laughs> Don't let the fish guys go on vacation. Cheapest beer I've ever bought. I guess I'm a four three beers. Nine three dollars. beers. Nine bucks for three beers? Yeah. Holy cow. Nine bucks a beer. Which one's the Corona? They're all Miller Lite. Okay, cheers. I didn't have any. 
Thanks for my beer. Yeah, man. Cheers. Cheers. 11 a.m. beer. Breakfast beer. This is Barb's fit. You can't be wearing that, dude, to go. Dude, my fit's not done. You look like a crayon, bro. You look like an 85 year old freaking grandfather. Yeah, look at this, though. Nice. You don't have a belt, bro. You need a belt here. I'm on belt loops. These are Fabletics golf pants. You need a belt to play this course. I promise you. Okay, looks like I'm not playing golf today. It's so like, you don't want to scout the lakes. So I'll sit at the bar. Let's see your swing. Let's see your swing, Jack. Pants are going to roll up. I don't know. Pants are going to roll up. It's okay. All right, let's get out there. We're pulling up to the course, everybody. This is the time we're golfing, but we're really scouting for fish. So we just saw a gator. Driving by the lakes. Gotta be careful. Yep, we have to be careful today. Especially when we hit that ball in the water. I'm gonna try to hit the ball in the water. So, oh, oh look at these fishers. Those are the guys from last night. Look at these fishers. Those are the kids from last night. Dude. Yell at them. So what's up, boys? What's up, boys? They are fishing. There must be fish there, Jack. Dude, what the hell? They're actually, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that, eight of them. That's eight good, that's fishing. a good sign. That's a good sign. So we're golfing, but it's a scout mission. So it's not really a, a, a golf. Because we're fishing tonight, and this tournament is not over. It's we're t we're all square, brother. No, yeah, yeah. It's it, biggest fish from from Ponte Vedra. Yeah, biggest fish from this lake wins. So we'll see how we do here. Good sign. We saw a gator already, and six people fishing. Lock it. He's got to eat. He's got to eat fish. Granddad, tell me to park over here. Yep. That sounded good. Jack's already in the water. After taking a drop in the water, let's see what he's got. Fish guy Chris commentating. Nice. That over? Yeah. Nice. Had that puppy coming out of the rough. That was a nice shot. I had her teed up. <laughs> Didn't tell anyone. <laughs> Did you? Teed her up. No, no, not with a tee, but I, uh, <laughs> I gave myself a really nice lie. Good, good, good. I, I crushed my ball. I don't know where it is. Your ball's right there next to the trap. We also just saw the biggest gar or a carp known to man driving by the lake. Definitely so gonna have to come back. We're scouting. We already found a big fish. Oh. Bunker action. We're going to the beach. You like you like going to the beach, huh? I never know if I need to keep the, like, such an awkward range. You guys know damn well I'm pulling that out of the sand. I ain't hitting that out of there. All right, here goes Chris. He's, he's got a lot of pressure. He's right next to the grandpa. He's so nervous right now, it's not even funny. And there it goes, oh. way over the green. I came up too early. I don't know if you guys saw that shot. Oh, we saw it. Thin the hell out of it. It's all right, I'm in the beach. You're, yeah, you're going, you're going fishing, dude. Doing a little beach fishing. <laughs> Where's the tide pool? Okay, that is a 10 foot wall out of the sand. You got it, bro, you got <laughs> it. <laughs> you got it. Eight feet wall, you gotta climb out of. Damn near nervous right now. A lot of pressure, I'm on the tour. Fish guy fishing tour, fish guy golf tour. There we go. Come on. Oh, that's good. That might be in the hole. That's not in the hole, <laughs> that's a good shot. I think I should stick to fishing. We already saw a gator. And we saw a big, like... Had have been a carp. It was like a five foot carp, dude. It was, it was huge. huge. Broken back on her. Massive. But you know what's also massive? My balls when I hit this driver right now. <laughs> oh, I'm gone. Dunked oh. it. Dunked it. Oh, All right, I'm leave fishing. the driver up there. I'm coming. I'm fishing. Here goes fish guy, Jack. Oh, nice shot. Uh, oh my God, that thing came to a dead stop. Not the best shot, but... You're at the other that ball box. came to a dead stop. Holy crap. <laughs> this is not our hole, dude. Oh my god, that's so bad. I gotta pipe it down this little fairway here. Oh my god, I'm digging. We're not golfing, we're digging. <sighs> I'm you gotta up fill to that it. divot. I'm walking up to it. Yeah, fill that. I will. Oh my god. <laughs> you hit the other side of the fairway tree, bro. <laughs> Who took me out here, man? <laughs> No one's safe. Okay, we are shooting over the water here onto this green on a par three that's already taken three balls from us. That's a nice shot. Nope, I'm in the bunker. Over the bunker. Somebody get me out of here. <laughs> I cannot play this game. All right, see what Chris has for us here. Spin. Boom. Bang. You know, it's really disappointing because my grandpa's out here every day. He can play so well, and all he wants to see is me play well, and I disappoint <laughs> him every single time because I am terrible. Yeah, you're, you are a family disappointment. I'm strictly a fish guy. Yeah. I don't go play unless my buddies want to go play, but... Oh. He came up, dude. 
You in it? No, don't deserve <laughs> it. You're picking your head up. I'm breaking down is what's happening. <laughs> you said you're aiming way right. I mean, I was scared of that water, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we suck. We're not good, but it's fine. We had a blast this weekend. Our first really travel style fishing video. I was surprised it was ended up being 1-1. We tied. Dude, buzzer beater. Buzzer beater, baby. Buzzer beater, I thought I had the win, but it ended up just being a tie. Got that six pounder. Thought he gave it to me the six and one ounce. I know, I was like, wow, Mike He really reeled didn't. it back in. He reeled it back in and uh, it was a tie. So we're, we're gonna have to end up going back and trying to go for those 25 pounders again and spend the whole day doing that and then whoever Definitely. catches the biggest one wins. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I had a blast filming it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Later.